Hey guys and welcome back for another stretch. We are going to start today's stretch by coming down into a cobra. So really pushing those shoulders down, get the arms nice and straight and feel that stretch through the lower back. Keep those shoulders down and arch the back as much as you can to get that full stretch. And then we're just going to start twisting from side to side here, just really opening up the back. and hold it in the middle. Gently come up, push the bum back to your feet and relax down into that child's pose. But you're really gonna crawl the arms forward here so we're not just relaxing, we are crawling the arms forward and feeling that pull through the upper back. And crawl the arms over to one side, sending the bum to the other, feeling the stretch down the side of the back. And the other side. back into the middle and we are going to push our bum into the air this time try and get the chest and chin low and feel the stretch through the back of the shoulder blades Slowly come up, bring the palms back onto your tiptoes, push the bum into the air into our downwards dog. Here you really want to try and get your head through your arms and push that chest down so again you feel that stretch through the shoulders. From there we are going to start to walk the feet, stretching out the back of the legs. And take one foot, place it on top of the other ankle, feel the stretch in the calf. Change sides. Back into the middle and walk the feet again. Gently roll the body forward, bringing one foot bent out in front, keep the other leg straight behind and relax the body down in your sleeping pigeon pose, feeling that stretch through the glutes.
slowly bring the body back up. We're going to grab hold of that back leg, pull it in as close to the bum as you can, stretching out the quads. Make sure you keep the hips parallel with the floor here and you don't twist out to the side, otherwise you're not going to get that stretch through the quads. And lower that leg down take the foot back and we're going to switch sides other leg comes forward into that sleeping pigeon pose Slowly bring the body up, grabbing hold of that back leg, stretching those quads. Lower that back leg, we're going to take both legs back and we're going to push up again into our downwards dog, stretching those shoulders, pushing those heels down, stretching the hamstrings. One leg comes forward here into our lunge position, back knees to the floor and we're going to lean back arching the back to the ceiling, pushing those hips down, feeling the stretch through the quads. Lean back, straighten out that front leg, head to knee, stretch those hamstrings.
slowly start to slide that leg forward, back leg back, coming down as low into your splits as you can. Just make sure you keep those hips parallel with the floor so you're getting that full splits position and just hold it at whatever point is possible. One hand up for five, four, three, two, one, and change arms. Five, four, three, two, one, both together. Five, four, three, two, one. We're slowly gonna come out now, just whatever way is comfortable, bringing yourself out of those splits. Bring both feet back, other foot comes forward into a lunge, stretching the quads on the other side. Straighten out that front leg, head to knee, stretch those hamstrings. And start to slide those legs down into your splits as low as you can and just hold it at whatever point you can. One hand up for five, four, three, two, one, and change. Five, four, three, two, one, both together. Five, four, three, two, one, and slowly out. Twist your body to the side so we have both legs as wide as we can. Try and get it even wider, shift your bum forward to get those last few inches. And we are just going to reach out to the side, getting that nice body stretch down the side of the body and hold it here. Slowly crawl the body forward into your pancake fold, putting all the pressure in those hips, opening up the hip flexors and the groin, and really feeling that stretch.
and start to crawl the body over to the other side. Again, big stretch out, getting the stretch down the side of the body. Bring the body back up into the middle. We're going to entwine the fingers behind the back and get them up as high as you can, feeling that stretch through the shoulder. Release the arms and we're going to bring one arm forward Make sure to push the shoulder away from your face and really pull it with the other arm so you feel that stretch through the shoulder again. Change sides. Release the arm and bring it back behind your head, grabbing the elbow with the other arm and pulling it down. Make sure to keep your head up so you feel the stretch through the triceps. Change sides. Release the arms down, roll out the shoulders if you need to, and we are going to slowly come out of this position and go into our frog's pose, opening up those hips once again. Slowly come out of this position, just bring yourself back up, we are going to come to standing and go into our full middle split stretch. So have the feet running in a straight line, have the hands on the floor for balance and just start to guide your legs down as much as they can into that middle split and just get as low as possible.
and slowly bring yourself up however you can. Your legs are going to be feeling really stiff, so just do this really gently and release that tension. We are going to come down now and lie back onto our mat. So back all the way down, legs out in front of you. Take the arms above your head. We're going to have a big stretch out, so pointing the toes, reaching above your head, getting a full body stretch. And then we're just going to relax the arms by our side, palms up, eyes closed, and take nice deep breaths and just relax here. When you're ready, just bring one leg in and the other. Give them a nice hug to the chest and just rock from side to side. And this time we're gonna rock all the way to the side. Gently push ourselves up to seated. And you are done guys. Thank you so much for joining me on today's stretch and I really hope to see you on the next one. Bye.